Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and for today's video, I will be sharing to you guys things that surprised me when I moved here in Slovenia. But before that, how is everyone doing? I hope you are all doing great and healthy and let's stay healthy. There are maybe things that generally surprise every tourist, every foreigner who have visited Slovenia before, but I will share those things that personally surprised me. Actually, almost everything about Slovenia surprised me. And it's like I underrated, I underestimated Slovenia. That even I have already been reading articles about Slovenia even before I moved here. In my imagination, it's like it's just okay it's beautiful country it's a clean country and it's a safe country but when i moved here when i came here everything is different and especially for me who came from a totally different country the philippines and that's what i want to share with you today i am reviewing for the cpp exam for driving license here in Slovenia and it's really hard because they do not have English materials. I mean English handbook, English reviewers and I needed to translate them like word per word and it's draining my brain. So let's move on. The first one that surprised me about Slovenia is its topography. I was expecting like it's like okay it's a beautiful nature beautiful country and if i would rate it in my imagination based on what i've read about Slovenia, i would rate it like okay it's seven six or seven out of ten ten is the highest but when i saw this beautiful emerald rivers alps green meadows dense forest wild animals it's like every inch of Slovenia's topography is breathtaking and it has something to showcase and even 11 rating is not enough second thing that surprised me is when i saw my husband drinking directly from the pipe yes tap water is potable and drinkable here you can just drink from any uh, pipe i mean there are many available pipes in forests in parks and you can just drink from there i was so shocked because in the philippines it's already rare to see cities which has this potable top waters we usually buy from water filling stations which is really big additional cost to our everyday life and when i moved here i was surprised that tap water is still potable here that's really a big cut in your cost if you have potable tap water okay the third thing that surprised me is everywhere you can see flag their national flag their the european union flag sometimes they have this red cross flag it depends maybe additional flags that represents their own business the particular establishment i don't know it might be weird for you but i was surprised because back in the philippines i can only see flags in independence day in a school or in government offices these flags can add to the feeling that you are really here in Slovenia, that you are mingling with the Slovenes. If you are traveling, you can just take picture from with those flags and you will feel that you are really here in Slovenia. That's what I feel. Okay, the third thing that surprises me is I was surprised how the Slovenes preserve these old churches, old houses, castles mansions is it because of more stable 
weather condition. I cannot say because they have winters, they have four seasons, but compared to the Philippines, we have a cool year typhoon moments and we are in the ring of fire. So earthquakes and everything is totally damaging, catastrophic. But I was surprised when I moved here. I am still surprised because imagine there are buildings that is like 300 years old and it's still standing and it's so surprising how do they preserve this thing. okay number four fast government services i am telling this based on my experience in the philippines everything is, is slow i mean especially in the government offices it's like you cannot finish a transaction with the government in just few hours it takes days maybe it depends on the transaction but most transactions with the government takes days years it takes forever <laughs> while here in slovenia you, you can be sure that you are done in few minutes and requiring only few documents unlike in the philippines you need to prove everything you need to document everything it's still not enough <laughs> that's how it is in the philippines even in banks because i used to work in bank and one time i have this transaction with one bank here and i was preparing things that i think they will ask me to keep but i was so surprised that they don't need those things i mean those documents that i prepared the next thing that surprised me is free education and free health yes i knew it even before that because it's Slovenia is a developed country and developed countries usually have this free education and free health but to experience it firsthand is totally amazing and surprising it's the first time that i don't need to worry how much would i pay in a single and simple checkup with the doctor and i don't need to worry about the education of my future children is like it's a big help and like in the philippines you need to be determined and you need to work hard for you to get a degree or for you to be healthy number six that surprised me is is Slovenia's waste management everyone is doing their part in waste segregation that i hope we can do this in the philippines too i just hope one day i could go to their regional waste management center because i really want to see i really want to have tour how can they possibly do this so well and so clean so effective while in the philippines i don't know maybe we are really black with discipline when it comes to waste management this is the most surprising for me because i hate trash i hate when i see my fellow filipinos doing just throwing their trash everywhere okay number seven that surprised me is post office has a big role in every slovene's day-to-day -day life i am again sharing this based on my experience in the philippines because in the Philippines, post office is not reliable. If you are rushing, there is no way they can do it faster. Everything is slow in the Philippines. Currently, there are many motorized courier services in the Philippines doing the delivery of goods, papers, documents. It's not post office. Sometimes, even your monthly bill will arrive after your due date so it's unreliable i like it here because you can just go to the post office if you want to send something to anyone it's really helpful especially in this time where we need to move everything fast without personally going to everywhere we want to go because of restrictions post office is really helpful number eight 
I was surprised with how cheap our properties here compared to the Philippines. Of course, there are many factors that contribute to how cheap, how expensive a property is, like proximity to the city centers, etc. Premium lands, premium properties. It's the same as back in the Philippines, but even my husband was shocked when he saw the property prices in the Philippines, which is really high especially with agricultural lands it's expected that agricultural lands is way cheaper than residential but it's not but here in Slovenia you can get a piece of land especially agricultural lands in a cheap price well it depends on the location again and maybe the bank's rates can add to it because here, banks' mortgage rates are way lower than in the Philippines. Like, I think the lower, lowest here is 2%. And even my husband said before that they have like 0%. And in the Philippines, when I was still working in a bank, it's like the lowest possible is like 5% or 5.25%. A big additional cost to when you buy properties in the Philippines. I am just so surprised knowing that they have a lower interest rates when it comes to mortgage. And number nine is everything is in Slovenian language. I don't know how patients are the Slovenes making subtitles translating everything in their language because in the Philippines we do not do this if it's English if it's Chinese it depends on you it's your risk to buy a product not knowing the ingredients because you do not understand it or if you are really if it is really important for you you, you can translate it with applications but here all imported products has translations of its ingredients, how to prepare, directions of use, warnings. It's all in Slovenian language. And I was so surprised with that. And even news or foreign news that is aired in the local television, they will translate it in Slovenian language. Movies and everything. How I wish we can do that too, so we can also value our language in the Philippines because it's now the Tagalog language in the Philippines now evaporating. I think schools now are bringing back Tagalog as the main teaching language. And the last one, speaking of language, I was so surprised that maybe being a translator official translator in Slovenia is uh, is in demand i mean because every document that you need to present in Slovenia should be translated to Slovene and you need to hire translators if you take exams unless you already know their language like for me when i took the first aid exam and when I will take the driving license exam maybe I will hire a translator again and they allow you to do that but be reminded that you cannot just hire anyone who knows how to speak Slovene and understand your language they have official translators and they will put their signatures there to make it official and you will pay them really good Price. There are other things that surprise me as I've said almost everything about Slovenia surprised me and because I came from a totally different country, different continent and everything is really surprising. Yeah, I hope you like this video. If you have something in mind that you want me to cover and for my next videos, please leave a comment if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and you may subscribe to my channel god bless everyone bye